to judges, parents, and my dear friends. Today, I am going to talk about a subject very close to my heart. Kerala, God's own country. I always wondered who came up with that phrase. Through my research, I found out it was Dr. Vipin Gopal, a Malayali engineer who lives in Massachusetts. In 1993, Dr. Gopal made the launched a very aggressive campaign to boost tourism. As a result, in 2006, Kerala had 8.5 million tourist visitors. Kerala was named one of the 10 paradises in the world and one of the 15 places of a lifetime by National Geographic Traveler. So why would I call Kerala God's own country? I have several compelling reasons. My first and foremost reason is Kerala's God-given natural beauty, its demographics, and landscaping. An example is the golden sunset that outlines the fishing nets of Gucci. Wherever you turn, you see greenery and serenity. From the beaches of Kovla to the hill stations of Muna to the National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary of Periyar, to the backwaters of Komaraham, places that attract Kerala's other Indians, foreigners who savor the pure and untouched beauty of Kerala. Another reason is the democracy. Do you know that Kerala is the first place in the world that democratically voted for a communist government? The political landscape changes from election to election with minimum fuss. The third reason is the unity in religious diversity that Kerala displays. Only in Kerala you will see a mosque, a temple, and a church side by side. Only in Kerala you will hear the Muslim morning prayer, Salah or Bam, at the same time Hindu devotional songs and the church bells ringing for morning mass. Maybe we should rename Kerala as all faith land. Am I right? Another reason is the culture of Kerala. Tuantra has a Tamil culture. Koilan has an Anglo-Indian culture. Kottayam has a literary culture. And Arkalav has a Jewish, Goan, and business culture. Calicut has an Islamic culture. This makes Kerala a land of religious plurality, just like the one God who is called by many names. Here is another reason why I support Kerala as God's own country. My fifth and favorite reason is Kerala's food. While Kottayam has bidi, appam, and chicken curry, Calicut has biryani. It is common to see a Kottayam wedding lunch with chicken or mutton biryani. The sixth reason is attire. A common Hindu attire is set and mundan, but on a special occasion like Ona, you might see a Christian wearing set and mundan. My seventh and final reason is Kerala's history and hospitality. It's 100% literacy, adaptability to missionaries, explorers, governments, and traders.